Hi, my name is Perla and I um, am going to teach you how to use the rebozo for belly support when pregnant. I did <clears throat> a blog post about a year or two ago on using the rebozo and my culture for um, pregnancy support, um, but I realized I never did a tutorial, so here it is. And um, I'm going to talk through this video to kind of walk through each step and ex really explain what it is that I'm focusing on. And then I'll have a separate video um, where it's just the motion of me putting it on and it'll be really quick. Um, so yeah, so here we go. So first you wanna, um, there are different ways to set it up. So there's, um, you can get to your center here. Um, this is a three meter rebozo I, that I got from my friend at Indigena Mami. Um, and I kind of bunch it up a little bit at the top Eh, kind of at the bottom too and I center it in underneath my belly and then I bring it around back and I try to make sure that I'm pulling all and any slack so that it's nice and snug so I cross it and then I tighten right here and I have it like this and it's all like bunched up underneath and then I cross it again underneath and I tie a knot right under my belly. So at this point, I might start pulling up that under piece. So I don't, because I don't want it to get too stuck in there. And I pull it up and then I go ahead and do the second knot. Okay. And once you do that, you can kind of see, um, you know, you can kind of figure out if I need, if you need more support in one area or the other. This is a little loose, but I'm not too concerned about that. What I really want is the support underneath here. The nice thing about the knot underneath the belly is like it kind of creates extra support. Um, it might feel kind of funny having this in the front, but I mean, the point is for it to support you. And um, yeah, it feels really snug. You can see, and it goes over my belly, so it supports up here as well. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to start it off a little more spread out, you could do that and just make sure your focus is that this feels really snug right underneath the belly and you want to lift it like this. And so then you start pulling again, all the slack like this you want, you can do kind of like when baby wearing and go through each section to kind of get that slack and then on this side and then yeah and then this might this might make it easier to have it over your belly without like really pulling it up and getting that slack right here it really just depends what you'd like to do and I get it pretty tight because it usually loosens I mean it might loosen up after a while, depending on what you're doing, how tight of a knot you have. And yeah, um, I, I feel really supported with a rebozo like that. And um, yeah, and so another thing to try, if you don't want the knot underneath, you just move you kind of like your center marker off to the side here. And so you're gonna have, this is gonna be a little trickier but you're going to cross on the side here and again pull pull and try to get that slack so this piece is going to be longer and then you tie the knot over here and so this is nice because then it's off to the side and it looks cuter probably <laughs> um, yeah this always again just feels really supported my back feels supported it goes up maybe about a third up my back and um, I just really like it too because then I can use the rebozo like if I get tired of having it on I can still use it for other things you know it's not just a regular old band um, you know pregnancy support band it's multi-purposeful so one thing about uh, the rebozo as well just so you are aware I didn't realize I didn't explain this at the beginning I'm 35 weeks pregnant with twins, so my belly is really big. Um, and this really supports throughout um, for a belly this big. Um, 
you can start you know wearing a rebozo this way as early as you feel like you need it like early in pregnancy as soon as you feel like your round ligaments you know are um in pain or you're having back pain anything like that or to help prevent that pain you know your your ligaments are like are they're stretching they're like rubber bands and so if you can help support them ahead of time before they stretch too much um, you'll probably deal with less pain so this is just a great way to um, get that support and you can wear it anytime in your pregnancy you don't have to be this big you don't have to be you know smaller anything like that I mean it's just um, whatever whatever you feel like you need and the nice thing about the rebozo is you can always you can spread it out more you can you know if you get tired of having it up here you could well the, for for my belly then it'll just this fabric will end up hanging but if you yeah if you get tired and you just want to keep it on but not have to put it back on on and off you can bring it down get a break um, and then once you start feeling like you need that support again then pull it back up very simple it's really not that tough you just tie it around put a knot in and just make sure, again, you pull that slack. That's the most important thing you can do. If you do this and you do it any other way, please let me know. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer. And let me know what you think and if you try it out.